We're getting a lot of messages and emails asking how is Mango doing. I know that some of you live so far away that you can't come and meet him and I hope that this video gives you a bird's eye view of Mango now and how he's doing. Mango came to us two and a half years ago. We literally uh, took him off of his mom who had been hit and killed by a car. He came with five siblings. They were tiny and they lived for a while in the incubator. It was clear to us fairly soon that Mango had some mobility issues. Uh, his back end was injured in the accident. He and a sister were both determined to be non-releasable. And his mobility issues, which he's had since a baby, aren't too good. He is not able to groom himself now. So we do his grooming. Oh, boo -boo. We give him baths and we clean his ears and his claws. Can we see? Oh, those, hmm, those claws hurt him. He, he actually sort of drags his back end when he walks. So when we groom him, we also take some of this cream that we put on. Can we show them what we do with your foot? So you can see uh, he's got quite a sore here and we medicate it. I try to cover it, but it won't stay on. A little medicine on there and I think that makes him feel good. He's also on some pain medicine. He is very good. Mango is very special. He lets me do whatever I need to. I can roll him on his back to wash his belly. He just trusts me. He's one of the nicest animals I've ever worked with. Damn. He's a big boy. He's hard for me to pick up, huh? Say hello, everyone. Um, his fingernails are not in good shape. I think that just has to do with him being old. The other thing that happens when they get old is they develop skin, dry skin, which oftentimes looks uh, almost like they have some kind of an infection. They don't. We do shampoo him with an antifungal, antibacterial shampoo just in case. He is soft and silky, but he's losing his undercoat. Aren't you, Mango? Come on up for a second. I gotcha. Uh, his name was Mr. Poopy, Mr. Poopy Pants, and he lives up to it even when we put him in the bathtub or we put him up here on the table. He's, we did, uh, he's had a bath and we did his fingernails, but he didn't really want me to do this foot. Yeah, I think so. Hold on, hold on. Okay, what is his? So here he is, this is Mango. He lives right here with us in the dining room. He doesn't really have a lot of mobility, so he has his crate and a little bit of mobility, but we can visit with him constantly, and he hears us and sees us, and I think that that gives him some comfort. Mango, would you like to go back home now? I'm going to try to pick him up. He's really heavy for me, and Bill usually does all of his lifting. What do you think, Mango? Are you going to take everything with you? He loves his mama. Okay, Mango, we're going to put you back to bed. You sleep well, honey, boy. You are part of you. And there he is. He's in his little carrier. And we'll give him a little bit of scrambled eggs. And he'll be good for today. He loves to sleep in this little carrier, but we do have to change the bedding every day because now he's incontinent. Sometimes he comes out and sleeps on the blanket and watches what's going on. So this adorable little boy won the hearts of many, and right from the get-go, when he went out publicly, people fell in love with him. Mango has been a fabulous ambassador. Kids love him. He holds everybody's finger with his tail. He's just one great opossum. And he hears us and sees us, and I think that that gives him some comfort. I don't know how much longer Mango will be with us, but I can promise you that for as long as he's here, he will be loved and well taken care of. 
so our sweet boy Mango is retired. But if he's feeling well enough and we're doing a local show, we may take him out again. He absolutely loves meeting kids. For now, he's just resting comfortably, waiting for an omelet. <laughs>